Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales and we are here with Sparrow who is catching up on some much needed rest on, on top of truck as one does. This is this is fine I'm sure he's totally not about to fall off. <laughs> uh, but yeah we are currently midway through a hunt for moose. Oh dispersals I guess. Uh, apparently there are dispersals here. Storm clouds. Two different storm cloud wolves. Huh. Well, they have three diversity. I don't... Hmm. Let's... I guess we'll get up and, and kind of say hello. Just see. I don't... I don't really know what dispersals are here too well. I can go ahead and... Wagtail and just kind of say hello. Looks like one of them is probably lazy. She just laid down. And we'll see... Oh. We're going a little bit too quickly. <laughs> um, the other one might be playful. I can't, is she play bowing? Oh, she's howling. I can howl back. It looks, I'm pretty sure the one on the right there is lazy and I can't get too good of a look at them because they've shown up in the dead of night and they have very dark fur and that makes it very hard to see what they look like. But they do have that I think is part of why their diversity is good because um, Sparrow would have gray fur. Well, brown but it's classed as gray I guess and um, they have black fur the way the genetics work that actually is supposed to help with um, the um, health of the pups I guess uh, a wolf that has the black fur might be more resistant to illness and with the way the genes work that having a wolf that doesn't have the same fur color as you can actually help so that could be a potential good option I'm not sure he's ready to make that uh, decision just yet but um, I think he'll head off and we'll see. They might they might just track him all through the map here like this. Um, I don't want to do courtship yet. No, I just I want to see what ones are out there. So we have one that's probably lazy. Couldn't tell too much about the other one. They both have dark fur and three diversity, which will be a good thing. Um, potential good traits for a potential good mate. But we'll have him head off this way, and I, they might still be following him, I'm not too sure. But I don't know if there's other dispersal wolves in the map, but I don't want him to make a decision too quickly. So let's kind of move off this way and see. Uh, there's a mule deer. See if we can find any moose. Actually, it might be worth sniffing around. Is that a moose? Oh, whoa, hello, I'm falling down the hill. Is that moose right there? That Oh, it's, ah, it's a cow moose carcass. No! <laughs> Oh, I was hoping it'd be an actual ca uh, an actual cow moose. That's disappointing. Oh, there's who are these? Male windstorm dispersal. That's that's a rival. That's not a potential mate right there. Let's see if we can find somewhere to curl up down here, and then we'll be right by the water's edge where we can start poking around. I think moose do prefer watery areas. Um, that's the wolf. I see the wolf moving on along there. He's heading around. And uh, probably also here to find a mate, I think. But uh, to aid me is competition. And so if we ever run into him directly, that's probably not going to be such great terms. There might be a little bit of a scuffle if he doesn't... Wait, did I just call Sparrow Aiden? Am I getting confused? Gosh, he looks like Aiden. Dispersal wolves again. Who are you? Am I confused? Where are dispersal wolves? Oh, there's dispersal wolves here. Oh, it's the same ones. They followed me. How did you get in front of me? <laughs> Well, Sparrow is, uh, Sparrow's gonna have, Sparrow's gonna have a time if he ever runs into that other one, but I think, you know, he'll, he'll greet these guys again. Um, he's not, he, he'll take his, he'll take his development a little slowly. He kind of wants to, to get to know them a little bit. If they keep following him around, maybe he'll more seriously consider this, but he's also fairly focused on his quest. I feel like I may have called him Aiden several times now by mistake because I'm getting him confused with the uh, the lead wolf of our, our other pack that we've played with a little bit more consistently. But yeah, we'll move off again, sniff around, see if we can find any others. I don't know. Usually the dispersal wolves aren't too keen to fight the rival ones that is. So even if we do bump into that other male, he's probably not going to give us too much trouble. But if he decides to stand his ground, Sparrow might have to push back a little bit and chase him off. After all, he is competition, and uh, that's that's not something that Sparrow is going to settle for lightly. So Sparrow's not an overly aggressive wolf, I would say, but he's not really a pushover either. His main focus is on the exploration, and that's mostly. And there's those bull elk once again. Well, that's mostly what he's paying attention to, but. Uh, there's Mule Tear up there too. Well, maybe we'll head up by the falls and see if there's anything going on around there. 
But yeah, he's not he's not a skittish wolf either. He's a f pretty friendly wolf for the most part. He's not going to make enemies if there's no reason to fight. But if it does come down to it, he's not going to let everybody just shove him around either. He's going to he'll stand his ground. And um he will push back and potentially um he will fight if he has to. So, if we do run into that dispersal male, we might uh, might have a bit of a scuffle on our hands if he doesn't decide to back off when he's told to. Let's head up this way and see. I don't know if there are moose around here. Oh, we're getting near to the stranger wolf territory too, which is a little bit- oh, we're actually in it. We have this, I see the scent post up there, but we are a little bit- <laughs> we're in a little bit of a concerning place with a very loud uh, waterfall and um, a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, it's a werewolf. <laughs> um, but yeah, this may not be the best place for moose after all. Um, yeah, thinking about it now, probably not because there's not actually a lot of room for them up here. Uh, there's, yeah, I'm, something's telling me they may. Oh, there's this scent post. I didn't know this scent post was right here. I, I'm just seeing that. There's bears around, but I'm still not seeing any moose. We found two moose last time, and they were both bulls. And uh, that's not really going to help us too much, because I don't think we can deal with them well on our own. But yeah, there's nothing in Sparrow's challenge about him not being able to take a mate. So, if we do end up finding a, a dispersal that we feel he, he, he clicks with, that might help us out. That might... Uh, What's going on? Oh, that's bears. I was like, what is that? Is that moose? Nope, it's bears. That's not something we want to poke with a stick. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it, there's nothing saying he can't get a little help, we just have to actually make sure he can take down the different types of prey, and that he's well versed in doing so, and that's, that's all we really gotta do. So, let's head off this way, we'll kind of poke around back here again, I'll, I'll head towards the back of, um, the hills over here, I guess. And we'll see if we can find any moose around this way. I kind of don't think so, because it's farther away from the water. And I really do feel like we're more prone to seeing them near the water. But you never know, you never know. You might find random lone wandering moose around. And uh, for us, that'd be good. If he can find a cow moose and a calf, that's uh, his best chance of actually pulling this off, I'd say. So we gotta kind of keep looking. Who have we got here? Lost River Wolf Pack. Let's not uh, mess with them. They're not even in their territory. They're just wandering free. So, yeah, they must have ventured out. Maybe they ventured out to hunt. I don't know how good the hunting is up in these hills. So, there's one of their scent posts. We are about to head into their territory, I think. Oh, if we don't fall down the cliff first, that is. Um, you do see their scent posts. There's a few up there. Yeah, there's one there. There's one there. So that's definitely their their territory. We don't really want to mess with that. But I'm not seeing any moose either. I kind of don't think this is a great place to find moose. It really doesn't seem like it. So let's head back down to the basin where we saw that one, the second bull moose. Oh, there's mule deer once again. Mule deer. Oh, hello, goodness. That's, that's a wolf. That is a wolf who's actually doing some hunting. And I suspect... This is Lost River 3M. So yeah, he's not going to take too kindly to seeing us. We are at the border of his turf, so we probably would do well to get a move on. But uh, he he can continue on his hunt. We'll we'll give him we'll give him space. Sparrow doesn't really have a reason to fight him at the moment. He is a little bit hungry, but not hungry enough to fight a wolf pack just to get a deer that's not even downed yet. So, well, I say a wolf pack. It could only be the one wolf. I didn't see if there was another one or not, but. In any case, I don't think he's really feeling up to that right now. So let's have him keep going, and we'll see. There's a hare. We will start eating a few hares if we um, if we continue to lose food like this, because I don't want him to get to starvation level. Oh, there's a scent post up there in the hills. You can kind of see a lot of them from down here. But uh, let's head back towards the basin, and we'll kind of check out the town area, maybe see if there's any moose around there. See if there's um, any any we could potentially hunt. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what we're gonna end up doing. This could be the the issue with his challenge if we just straight up can't find the moose. Uh, yeah. Oh, there is a moose. It is a moose. It is not the kind of moose that we can take down though, because that is once again a bull moose. So. Nope, not messing with that. Oh, hello, cat, though. Hello, cat. Look at this cat. Oh, guys, it's a cat. There's another cat here. My goodness. 
I like yeah, the cats are amazing. I I, I love the cats. I, I, I really do. I'm glad there's more of them. And I hope they stick around. I know they're here for Halloween, but I hope they stick around because that's just that's great. <laughs> I love them. But let's poke around this way, see if we can find any moose scent. I see a wolf territory over there. It is raining a little bit too. But I do not see any moose scent, so we are really having a hard time with this for some reason. Um, we keep finding moose that we're not actually going to be able to take down. So let's follow alongside here. Maybe I don't know if the moose hang out this way. We could, um, could make our way back around to the big lake and check out this side of it. There's mule deer tracks down in the, uh, ditch here. But, um, I don't really know where there would be moose. It's, they're just not easy to find sometimes. And it always feels like whenever you need something to not be here, it is, but whenever you need it to be here, it's not. That's just the way things be. That really is just the way things be, it seems. So let's head back this way, we'll check out this side of the lake, see what we can find. And we got a bit of time left in the episode yet, so these are mule deer tracks, hello? Oh, that's, I see the mule deer over there hi be hiding behind the car. So let's keep poking around and see what we can find. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't think there's really too many, um, really too many moose hanging around. They're making themselves extremely scarce. That's wolf pack. I saw something that almost looked vaguely moose-like in color uh, of scent trail, but no, it is not a moose. It is uh, only a wolf pack scent marker, and that's not going to help us. We don't want to fight with a wolf pack. It's not time to rest yet either. It will be soonish, but not yet. So let's keep moving for a little bit longer, see where we go. And yeah, we've been doing laps around here, and it's really hard to find any of the moose. They're just, they're not where we need them to be. They just are not. Oh, there's that scent post again. Maybe we'll venture up on this side of the creek. Oh, hello. Nope, mule deer. Never mind then. This side of it, maybe we'll have a little bit better terrain for moose. But again, I really don't know. And we might get ourselves attacked by stranger wolves if we're not careful because this is packed territory. And I see two of their scent posts. Or I did. One of them disappeared. But we'll go poking around up this way. That's a hare. That was two hares. Yeah, that was two hares. There's several scent posts up here, it looks like. So, but I don't... Yeah, I still really do not see any moose. We are really just out of luck, ain't we? There's sometimes not a whole lot you can do if the moose are just not anywhere to be found. It is giving us a nice chance to romp around throughout the map, but goodness, it, it certainly is making things difficult. And there's the scent trail, or a scent marker. Wait. What? No! Hey, hey, hey! I didn't even get- Is- Oh my gosh, I didn't even get- Ah, oh, I didn't even see him. Goodness! Alright, time to run. Time to run. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Did the- I don't recognize the Lost River music, really. Um, this must be the fight track, then. So we gotta get out of here, because we are, um, we are not where we are supposed to be. Is this the way back down into- Yeah, we're almost out of the territory. Okay, just book it a little bit further, and we should be good. I think- Hopefully. I think we're good. Alright. I think we'll- Oh no, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. We are definitely not good. Alright, let's keep moving. Should stop at the border, probably. Yeah, he's going back in his territory. Well, that was not what I was hoping for. We did take a little bit of damage from that, but not a whole lot, thankfully. And we are getting to be a little bit more tired after all that running. I really can't- uh, can't blame Sparrow for that one. But yeah. Still not a moose to be found, though, my goodness. This is, yeah, this is something, that's for sure. It's just not really helping us when it comes to trying to make our way, or trying to make our way through our challenge here. We're just having a real hard time with that. I feel like at some point in this, I probably walked right past the moose and haven't seen it. And there's probably a lot of people who are commenting about that, <laughs> but maybe maybe I'm okay. But I always get that feeling. There's always things that I notice afterwards, and there's always things that people notice that I didn't notice. And if there's a moose, that's one of those things. 
yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so far, I've only noticed three, well, three or four, but all of them were bulls, so yeah, not exactly the most helpful thing in the world. Let's head back into town, we'll take a little bit of a snooze, and then we'll look around maybe a little bit more before we wrap up the episode just to see if there's any other, um, uh, any other moose that could be hanging around. Even if we can just find one, we can take it down in the next episode. But uh, there has to be one for us to find for that to happen, and it's kind of looking like there's just not any moose that are making their home in this section of Lost River right now. Should we just keep finding that one old bull moose? I don't know if it may same one or different ones, but all we keep finding are those old bull moose that are wandering around on their own, and that really doing us too much help. So we're gonna head right back in and take a look around, just see if there's anything else we can find before we rest here. For now, it's not looking like a whole lot though. It's still a whole lot of nothing. That's, that's, hmm. That's, that's really not helpful. That's, man. That, yeah, sometimes it just be that challenging. We're certainly having a harder time of it this time around. And, uh, that, that does add its own challenge, for sure. Oh, pardon me. Ugh, got a little bit of a yawn going there. <laughs> Alright. But it looks like... Yeah, all I'm seeing is wolf scent markers. There's really not a lot going on. Let's check the, the basin one more time. It is a pretty small map, so there's kind of limited places for the moose to actually be. But, um... I guess you could find them sometimes in the highlands of Amethyst Mountain, though. Like... Sometimes they're down, a lot of the time they're down by the river, but sometimes they they are off up in the mountains too, so maybe it doesn't really matter where you're at, maybe they can't be anywhere. Um, I just feel like they used to be hanging around the water, they frequent the areas by the water, but I'm not too sure. So I'm really not seeing anything though, there's the elk herd, but that ain't helping us too much, so I think we're just gonna go off, find a place to rest, and probably wrap up the episode here for today. This is the midway point of the challenge, so... Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, this could be... This could be a little interesting. It really could. So, we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. But for now, I think we are going to go ahead and end off the episode here for today. Get out of the rain in here and uh, sleep to end it off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.